cannot wait. Cannot wait. Ooh, I feel like a Dolly Parton country singer. and welcome back to another vlog. I just finished off my last one, so we are diving straight into this week's vlog. I am heading off to HomeSense right now. Yay! I feel like anytime I see a YouTuber or whoever heading off to HomeSense, I'm like, ooh, this is gonna be a good one. So basically, I'm putting together a video for Cozy as well as just an evergreen video on my channel. And what it is, and Cozy is a couch brand, by the way. You would know this for sure if you have followed along or on Instagram, you can find me right here. And I am going to make our living room as cozy as possible. I wanna make a video on how to transform your living space for autumn and winter in the most cozy Huga kind of way. And if you've never heard of Huga before, I will link a video up above so you can learn all about it. It's one that I made a year or two years ago. And I would love to make again, just because I feel like my, my skills have improved. But anyways, I digress. I'm heading to HomeSense because I have a list. Actually, let's go over this very quickly. I have a little list. Um, I was going through a bunch of things that I want to address. I'm gonna turn on the AC. <laughs> This sweater is quite warm. So I was on Pinterest and I was surfing the web. Obviously I had made my own list on how I like to make things cozy, but uh, I made a defined 10 step list. Luckily you have a lot of these things already. So you don't need new things to transform your space, but there are a few new things that I wanna get. One, I wanna get a soap dispenser. This isn't for that video, for our kitchen, just because I feel like little things in your house can make such a big impact. The other day I, changed up a few of our air vent covers and now they are so beautiful and I actually love them. Um, I'll put a picture of that right here and I will link those air vent covers down below because highly recommend the quality of these things, the chef's kiss. So a soap dispenser, just something beautiful that we can have on our countertop versus a plastic bottle. I wanna get some green velvet pillows. So that is like a little bit more specific. Green velvet pillows for our new couch. I also wanna get a green throw because I wanna tie that in with the chair that we have in there. Now, ultimately we wanna make the chair that we have in our living space, in our living room, a green chair, but currently it's, it's kind of like this off gray. It's very, very light. So it, it matches, but it doesn't match at the same time. I wanna get some frames as well as an eight foot cur curtain rod, possibly, fingers crossed I can find that, as well as some curtains to soften up the space. I find that fabric really helps that cozy feeling. I'm gonna take a look for a tray and a wooden stool, but I kind of would much rather thrift something like a wooden stool. At home sense, a lot of them come from areas like Indonesia and things like that, and they still kind of carry that look, whereas I want the English countryside look. So we're gonna just see what, what they have to offer. I love hearing what people are listening to, and right now I am listening to an armchair expert, and this is one of the experts, his name is Saul, and he is a psychologist on false confessions, and it is so interesting. Besides that, my fun podcast that I've been listening to has been nearly weds, especially with the wedding right around the corner. It's just been so hilarious. Um, Jamie Lang and Sophie Habu are the hosts of that one, and I will link both of those down below. Highly recommend, highly recommend. Hi there, may I please have a grande chai tea latte hot, please? Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.
just stumbled upon one of the YouTubers that I really love, her book here. It's called An Edited Life. That was quite the successful mission. I feel like all of the accessory pieces that were kind of past the main points that I, okay, that didn't make any sense. That wasn't English. <laughs> Okay, there were some main things I wanted to get, like the pillowcases. And note that I'm saying pillowcases now, not pillows, because I always forget this. Please don't call me a bad partner. I always forget that Scotty is allergic to feathers. And I was on the phone with my mom, and she was like, oh, but does it have feathers? And yes, it does. So, because, because it is like the most perfect pillow color, like, look at these, now in more natural lighting. Oh, it looks such a different color in real life. Much more of like an olive tone, richer green in real life. Because it is the most perfect color, I am going to just get different inserts, and you can do that too. If you have a sewing spot in your area, if you're in Ontario, you can go to areas like Fabricland or on Ottawa Street near Hamilton in Hamilton. So I am going to measure these up and get new inserts. For the sake of the video that I'm gonna shoot, I'm just gonna shoot them this way and then get those inserts and swap them out. But I also, you would have spotted, got these and these are stunning. <gasps> Guys, this is my dream, <laughs> fully domesticated. This is my dream of being able to have different dishware and different tablescape opportunities by building up my tableware sets so that I can just pull them out at any time and these are going to be absolutely perfect so I got two of those and honestly they were $20 each but to rent a tablecloth it was seven so I was like I'm gonna look at this as a $13 investment because I would have been spending that seven dollars anyways to start to build up a little like I would just love a little shelf of a ton of stuff that I can make tablescapes with that is the dream for me. Time to go home. I actually might stop up the second. Oh, you know what? It's already seven. I'm gonna call Scotty and see where he's at on the dinner front. And um, that will determine whether I go home now or I go to the second home sense to see what I can find there. It's on the way, it's on the way. for this light. Look at this room. Oh my goodness gracious, it looks absolutely gorgeous. The light obviously, the sun obviously rises at the back of our house and sets in the front, <laughs> which all makes sense. But I'm filming a video today and this is like the perfect setting. And I'm gonna get Scotty to hopefully help me with some, some photos and maybe some shots as well. But my trusty tripod is so good. So at HomeSense, so you guys can see things in real life. These two pillows, so stunning. Just trying to figure out how I wanna configure things on the couch, but they are phenomenal, so soft, and the perfect shade of green, really complementing the warmth in this gold as well. And just like kind of setting off the tone of the couch. And then over here, I got this pillow at Michael's, I think years ago. It was either Michael's or HomeSense, and I'm pretty sure it was Michael's. And then I also got this green throw, which also I think really pulls together this little chair scene. Turned on the little fireplace, or fold up chairs. I can't. I can't wait till one day we have a nice table that we can do a tablescape at. And then Scotty has already made good use of our little drying mat because we just have nowhere to put you know, anything. And then these were last minute additions. Don't mind our sponge. I think we need to replace it. I think I'll do that right now. Um, we usually get these ones and then we cut them in half because then 
I don't know, you get more bang for your buck. So I also got this because we would always just put our sponge right on the counter and then it would just get wet everywhere. So this has a slight indent. So that's, sometimes you just gotta give things a place to go. How much was that? Only $8, not bad. And then this was so pretty. So I got a little soap dispenser. It looks like a little gourd or a little pumpkin. And it's got a green tone, a green hue. So that is perfect for what I think we're trying to accomplish in this space, those hints of green. Let's see if that auto, the auto light will come back. I also, this is so funny, I also like the back of the couch. I think it looks like pleasantly modern without being too modern. And uh, that obviously matters in a space where the couch is kind of in the middle. You know what, let's go full on theme and use the indigo pumpkin mug. I'm also wearing this H&M sweater again. I just can't not. I was like, this is gonna look so nice filming, so. Every time I do something, I'm gonna come back and talk to you. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, and I got these. I also got these. They're, oh, not that one. <laughs> I was like, I didn't buy that. It's an old one. I also got these which you would have recognized. I didn't even realize that middle one had that check as well. That's gonna go so well with our, this is, what's it called, tablecloths. So excited for that and I already showed you those ones. So that will fit. I am excited to also have new towels like this one hosting. I think that's one thing that you almost need your like hosting towels set aside because ours, what about you guys? Ours just get destroyed. So dirty, I don't know what it is. We wash them often too, so. So I'm gonna keep filming. I think I'm gonna get a few shots just like, oh, maybe I'll look at my Kobo. I'll read a few pages as well. That would be so nice. That automatically makes you want to yawn because I only read it before bed. <laughs> but I think spending a few moments on the couch with a tea and a Kobo, that is going to need to be part of my new morning routine because this is actually a cozy place to be. Whereas our old couch, I just never wanted to sit on it for a long prolonged period of time. Okay, so let's do that, get all the shots that we need to do, write our on-camera bit, and then start putting this together. Before I totally leave you, something to maybe entice you to stick around through this vlog, tonight we are going to a Tory Burch event. Cannot wait, cannot wait. And my dad's gonna be dropping off those tables for Friendsgiving this morning. So we have a lot of really exciting things. Tables and Tory Burch. Maybe not on the same level of exciting, but I'm gonna see my friend Alma as well at the Tory Burch event. And she's like, there's a special little gift when you come. So not that that like entices me to go anymore because I'm already so excited, but I mean, now I'm curious. Now I am curious. So I will also bring you along for that in the little getting ready process. If you're curious at all, I'm currently reading The Switch. It's about these two characters, Lena and Eileen. Eileen is Lena's grandmother and they basically switch for a little bit. It's not a Freaky Friday situation, so they don't switch bodies, but they switch lives and locations, which obviously has a change in their life. So it's been kind of a cute read before bed. Nothing too heavy, that's for sure. get ready for the event. One, two, three, probably with these boots. But I asked on my Instagram what you guys think and I'm curious what you think. So take a mental note right now on what outfit you would pick. This is just one of those things that I get in my head about. All right, you guys, I know that in the last vlog we tested out these curlers. So I took a lot of advice on Instagram and after applying the Dyson Airwrap and getting heat on the curl, then I let it set in the curler and some of them don't even have a curler. It's just held by the little clip there. I will link those clips and these curlers down below and I'm hoping that this is really going to help them set. So the second time using the Dyson Airwrap, let's see how it goes. learning how to 
curl, learning how to do a blowout look in our hair journey. I feel like because I have just different lengths of hair, taking out these clips can sometimes be tough. Like they get kind of stuck versus someone who has perfectly healthy hair. This is already much better than the first time I did my curlers, obviously. I'm trying to be careful when I brush it out, but I didn't straighten my hair by any means before. So I used the Velcro curlers, and then there's some curls like this next one that I didn't use a... Ooh, that I didn't use a Velcro curler at all. Wow, look at that one. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> okay, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put this out so I don't forget. This is the hairspray I've been using. I literally have no like preference when it comes to hairsprays. It was just really on sale, it was for $3.99. So I was like, yeah, okay. And it's ginormous. This one little piece of hair got kind of stuck. Okay, I'm excited for these front ones. But a friend of mine, Vasca, on Instagram, she suggested when I put out a little call on Instagram saying like, am I doing this wrong? How do I do this better for curlers? She said, I'm gonna take my rings off. I hate when you get hairspray all over your rings. She said, you need to heat up the hair and then put it in the curler. And I said, okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense, Vasca. So normally I would be kind of adverse to putting a bunch of hairspray in my hair as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, after the first wash, just because I like to not have anything in my hair. But at the same time, my goal would be to do this really well, practice, and then have it last a couple days. You know, that would be incredible, incredible. I also didn't do like an alternating curl at all. And I didn't necessarily do like a curl away from my face. I just did a curl to curl under kind of. Ooh, <laughs> look at her. I feel like a Dolly Parton country singer. <laughs> okay, this is the one that I'm always so excited about. Because you do this, and you flip it out. This is Maleficent. Okay, maybe I flip it in. Oh yeah, flip it. Flipping. <laughs> today when I was editing, I was editing a bunch of stuff today and um, when it's photos and things like that and just setting up footage, I can listen to other things. And I was just watching so many Tyson Airwrap videos. And uh, I feel like this is better than the first time I did it, obviously. It's more concentrated, but it does need a brush out. Okay, let me get this all sorted and then I'll show you the final result. And naturally this is gonna fall. Oh my God, this looks... <laughs> This looks hilarious. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is the final fit. You guys helped me choose on Instagram. I wouldn't have chosen this one, I don't think. I think I would have chosen option number three, but I'm so happy with this one. It's very Rachel from Friends. I'm motor mouthing because I am late. If you wanna see the little get ready with me putting this together, you can find me on TikTok right here. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy exciting today you know when you well if you have a pet at home some days days will come up where you're like you're gonna have the best day and you don't even know it yet so Scotty and I are heading back to our old stomping grounds quite literally the old building we used to live 
because if you guys have been following for a while now, if you haven't, I have a bunch of moving vlogs, but our downstairs neighbor, her name was Lynn, and is still Lynn, <laughs> was Lynn, and literally, Lynn is one of Rosie's best friends. She is so obsessed with Rosie, she saw her grow up from day zero um, when we got her to her little self now. And we're gonna go visit Lynn and I'm going to capture Rosie's little reaction, but then we're just gonna like sit and catch up with Lynn. And then tonight we are going to my parents' Thanksgiving, which is a week before Thanksgiving. That is normally Thanksgiving here in Canada. And Rosie's also coming to that. And uh, my best friend Rebecca and her husband Kyle are gonna be there and they are also bringing their dog Lenny. So today is a little bit of controlled chaos but it'll be really fun. What's Thanksgiving without a little bit of chaos? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she wants to go see Lynn so bad. Oh my goodness. She's so... <laughs> Oh, I told you! Oh, I told you! I just got a cupcake oh, for you. Come on, look at it. Go see. Oh my god. Oh my god. We are home now. I know I'm wearing this sweater again. I'm so sorry. Hoops, hair scraped back, a little bit of a shiny red lip, this H&M sweater again, white jeans. I'm also wearing little gray sock booties. That is the fit for a Weldon Thanksgiving. I'm going to my family Thanksgiving, which is great. This is a lot of room. This one's going to be super cute though, because um, I think I mentioned this already. Rebecca and Kyle are also going to be there. So we're gonna get Rosie all ready and I'm gonna try to capture some of the chaos, but I probably just check off and be in the moment. Actually tomorrow morning, I am going to be doing a maternity shoot for Rebecca and Kyle as a sunrise maternity shoot. So at least that'll give us a good excuse to not be too late getting to bed tonight because we are going to have an early morning tomorrow and I simply cannot wait. So letting you guys know this may end in B-roll. I love you and if I don't check in again, I shall see you in the next one. <laughs> Thank you. I'm at my family Thanksgiving and if you had watched I think four vlogs ago, I learned how to make some cocktails using the soda art machine. This is the soda stream. This is called the art machine with the lever. And um, I had all this stuff at my parents' house because if you recognize this kitchen, it's where I filmed it because their kitchen is so nice and bright. And my dad and I trialed it and it was so good. Did you get it? What's that? Did you get the... Uh... Yeah, it's open. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to make it again tonight. Honestly, I never knew, but that's one of my favorite alcohols. Saint Germain, it's so good. You open this? You already open this? Yeah. Oh, that was perfect. Did you pour that right in the thing? What? <laughs> Here you go, Scotty. You want to sip? Sure. Cheers <laughs> to Soda Stream. Oh, cheers. What did you say? To Soda Stream. To Soda Stream. To Turkey. What are these? The pineapple pastry and cranberries. Oh my gosh, they look so good. So this is Scotty learning how to cut a turkey for our future friendsgiving. Good job, Scotty. Thanks. Good job, Dad. <laughs> oh, good job, guys. He's like sweeping the ground. He's like, I don't. Hold on. <laughs> Rosie just has no chill. at you and some very cold hands. Beside me, I have my two best friends, Kyle and Rebecca, and we are shooting their maternity photos. 
Rebecca is pregnant, the most exciting thing ever. She just made her a little outfit change. She looks so cute. But I will say, it is so cold. We are down by the water and it is one of the windiest October days. October 2nd and it is already such an October day. Um, so shooting in the wind can be really tough. She has a boatload of hair that we are actually, oh, I love that she is tying it back for this part of the shoot um, because just getting some of those shots, her hair was blowing everywhere, but also can make for some such fun photos with movement and everything. So I will show you a couple of the photos, but again, they're kind of like their intimate photos. So just, just some of the, the clear winners. Um, and yeah, first sunrise shoot that I've ever done. And I am having a blast, honestly. I felt so energized this morning, so. Oh, Kyle's now in a t-shirt, poor guy. <laughs> it's so cold outside. is the end of another vlog. I hope that you really enjoyed this one. Honestly, go see a sunrise. It will energize you so, so much. I just woke up, a very exciting day. My website is being released today. So if you're interested in checking that out, I will link it down below. It's literally just amandaweldon.com. So I'm going to hook into that. I have quite a few things to film today as well. And we're going to carry that on in another vlog. Plus, this week, Scotty and I are hosting Friendsgiving. So you will get all of that in the next vlog. Bye guys, hope you're all, see you in the next one.